Hi, we're Common Crawl. We're a nonprofit organization building and maintaining an open crawl of the web. We're doing this because we have a vision, a truly open web that allows universal access to information, and we've got a plan to get there with our open repository of web crawl data that we believe has the power to enable a new wave of innovation, research, and education. We care about contributing to the commons where information lives free, and we collect this data using a crawler, a software program that gathers information from the web. The web is the largest collection of information in human history. And web crawl data provides an immensely rich resource for scientific research, education, technological advancement, and business innovation. We believe that web crawl data should be open and accessible to anyone who wants to use it. We think that that's not only fair, but also smart, because more minds are free to think about the problems that matter most. And the more that people think about those problems, the faster they get solved. So how exactly does our work lead to innovation? What kinds of things are possible if you have access to crawl data? Let's use our imaginations for a bit. We hear so much news about jobs these days, but it's hard to find good information about why our economy is the way it is. With Common Crawl's data set, you have the freedom to ask all sorts of interesting questions about the economy and find relevant knowledge about how jobs factor into it. For instance, what companies and industries are growing and which ones aren't? How are certain areas doing compared to other ones? And what skills are most highly valued in our economy? To find this information, write a seeker which selects all the web pages in our dataset that look like job postings and extract the date, location, company name, and job title. From there, look for trends in the words on the page. For example, the frequency of a job title that needs a given skill could reveal trends in the skills that employers value, which is helpful to know if you're a student looking for a job. Matching geographical areas to the frequencies of keyword groups could also reveal where certain industries are doing well or where they aren't. If you then normalize those job postings you found with employment statistics, you could find information about how well areas are doing compared to other ones and why things were that way. That's the sort of stuff you can find using lots of good open data, and that's what Common Crawl's mission is all about. If you think that that's cool, let's ask another really big question. How do ideas spread, and which ideas have the most social impact? One area where this is interesting is in politics, and you can find political data in Common Crawl such as the contents of bills, political speeches and commentary, and campaign financials. From this data, you could write a seeker that looks for keywords in web pages where the names of politicians turn up. From that information, you could see what sorts of words and phrases are associated with a politician, which gives you a look into public perception over time. As you can see, Common Crawl has something to offer for many different types of people. As a business user, you can see how insights and knowledge like this could evolve into a viable business model for an enterprising developer, startup, or even a large company. But Common Crawl is not just for business users. Researchers need extensive information and data to inform the work that they do, exactly the kind that Common Crawl can provide. Common Crawl can help them to get that data faster and cheaper than with any other comparably large data set. Educators who are passionate about innovative teaching tools will have the digital world at their fingertips. To be able to teach or learn big data techniques, like Hadoop or graph theory, the kind of innovation that's driving 21st century advancements of all kinds, you first need to get your hands on some real-world data. Common Crawl lets you do just that. Anyone can learn the skills necessary to be able to work with the web crawl data we provide, from journalists to anthropologists to economists. And that's exactly what we want, data that's available, accessible, and useful to everyone. When we look at the web, we see that anything is possible, and we imagine that you probably do too. So how can we work together to make the examples we gave before, and thousands more like them, come to be? You can start by learning more about Common Crawl on our website, and if you're looking to delve even deeper, you can join our discussion group. By far the best thing you can do, though, is to check out Amazon Web Services' public datasets, where the Common Crawl Corpus lives, and start playing around with the data. Amazon also provides some powerful tools for you to start asking your own questions of the crawl data, with pay-as-you-go services such as Elastic MapReduce and EC2. You can get started at aws.amazon.com slash datasets, where you'll also find some useful tutorials. Common Crawl. Seek data. Find truth.